go. I have up here an overview explaining what the periodic trends are. Okay, and we said three that are really important are atomic radius, also the ionic radius or ionic size, as well as electronegativity. So here we have, this is the atomic radius, the ionic size, and we see the electronegativity, okay? So what is the trend as, and notice too, here we have groups one, two, 3A, 4, 6, etc. Okay. Turn the light back on. Okay, first let me tell you what those groups are. What do those groups? On this, this is the reason I have this periodic table, okay? Notice we have here the Roman numerals. One, there'd be a Roman numeral two, 3A, 4A, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this can also be 8A. Okay, remember I mentioned this before. This S and P are called main group or representative elements. They are the ones that represent the patterns. So let's go back and look at this again. Now, so what we have here is this is a summary of the different patterns. For example, the atomic radius, the size. As we go down the columns or family, the atomic radius increases. As we go from left to right across the periods, the atomic radius decreases. Now, what about the ionic size, okay? So it is increasing here, so the opposite will be true as we go left to right. Now, electronegativity is another one. We haven't talked about what this is, again, really in depth, except to say electronegativity is how well does an element grab or attract electrons, okay? So the electronegativity is decreasing as we go down the columns and family and increasing left to right. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. I want to talk briefly about electronegativity, okay? Because this is super important. The electronegativity is an invention. Linus Pauling said, hold on, I can give elements a number from 0 to 4.0 and grade how well they attract electrons. Now we just said for electronegativity, okay? The electronegativity, electronegativity, yes. Low, okay, we have it. This is actually quite low, high. In fact, this is the highest, and down here is the lowest in terms of electronegativity. So the, the group one and two A, okay, are terrible at attracting because they only have one or two valence electrons, you wanna give them away. What we see, the best one is fluorine, okay? What we see is, right in here especially, they're very, group seven or seven A, or the halogen group, are very good at attracting electrons. So Linus Pauling was an academic, taught at a college. So it's not a coincidence that the scale goes from 0 to 4.0. Francium is like 0.7 on his scale, okay? Fluorine got top grade 4.0, okay? It is 4.0. It's the very best at attracting. Now the noble gases have no, they have no electronegativity because they have, they're complete, they don't want to react, okay? So we have lowest to highest and this is going to be important when we look at molecular structures when we're looking at covalent and polar. So the three points we really want to make sure you understand is the atomic radius and its pattern, the ionic radius and its pattern, and electronegativity. That's especially important. Okay. Next. Done.